Okay. Node graph out. Huh. Oh, this is Half Life. Yeah, well, that Stanley, episode. Is this any better? I don't know why it would be. This map wasn't even made for you. At least I created a world specifically with you in mind. I wanted to make you a leading man. This one, well, I'm afraid you're on your own there. But as I was saying, I really need to upload the next episode of that. <laughs> but I never got the time to do it, so... Yeah. Uh. Is this like a... scale or something? Those pants at the top? What is this? Uh, I want some rice. I'm bringing this rice with me. No, screw that. I want this can. No, screw that. I want this bottle. You're the bo- What? Did I just say a bottle? This is a can, obviously. I want this can. This is the can that I threw at the combine. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. I could hear you. He probably only got his job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That, or with drug money. I have never also, used drugs Stanley's in my life. addicted to drugs and hookers. Hookers, however, that that's a different story. Hmm. Can. You are the love of my life. Oh my god, that is just awesome. Has anyone ever noticed that? <laughs> Has anyone ever noticed that? Oh my god, that is just hilarious. Ah. Oh, let me guess, you're gonna electrocute me with that interrogation chair. I don't know what this is, so... Hold up, that's no. I spent so long talking about you, why don't we just take a break from that and talk about something else for a change? Let's see. Well, according to Wikipedia, more than 90% of the night sharks caught off northeastern Brazil contain mercury concentrations higher than that considered safe by the local government. That, that's really this interesting. Is fascinating. Don't you want to know more about the night sharks? No. Oh, no, of course not. All you want to hear about is yourself, isn't it? Indeed. Well, fine. You haven't listened to me once so far. I can't expect you to turn that around now, can I? Well, that depends. Will you give me another can of soda? Then that's a maybe. Hmm. More devil wall textures. <sighs> Is this the end of the line? I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for you, considering not a single art aspect in this map was created with you in mind. But hey, you're a creative kid. I bet you can come up with a story about this place and why you're in it. First why compliment. Doing that, why don't you think up an ending too? Because you certainly won't find one here. I'm afraid that's the long and short of it. This room and these walls are all you get. Maybe the story ends when you decide you can't live in this futuristic science fiction dystopia world and you gallantly commit suicide. Or maybe you stand in this spot for all of eternity to guide and greet other travelers no, like can. who pass this way. Or maybe you just get bored and you quit the game. Heck, anything's an ending if that's where you stop playing. But whatever ending you write for yourself, Stanley, you won't have my help. You turned your back on me. And now I do the same to you. So, good luck. I think you... Wait. Hold on, what are you... What are you doing? I'm going down here. Where's my can? I want my can, but uh, you lost it. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Well, you followed me everywhere else, so... How will you write a story without me? You can't do it, you know that. I could do... You just told me I could write myself a story. Well... Let's go back to our job. I guess not. Well, we'll be coming round the mountain when we come. We'll be coming round the mountain when we come. Yeah, I'm a horrible singer, so don't judge me. Uh, 
I'm going to go the same way to try to find that guy again. It was interesting. Very interesting. I guess not. This is very thrilling. Twelve minutes of gameplay. Just walking around. Granted, th there is a lot of good storytelling here, so... Hey. It's sad, I know. But all stories must come to an end. Aww. Of course, they say it's the journey that truly matters and not the destination. And I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself, but I hope that being the leading man was everything it's cracked up to be. I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, but this is simply the nature of freedom. Besides, I haven't really gone anywhere. Maybe you don't want a guide, but I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. I'll step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. You're wise. And you should now, be a guru. I'm happy to be the destination instead of the journey. But only for now. Well, that was a great... That was a great game. Huh. I heard there was also going to be an HD remix of this. Um, I should probably check that out. Because I heard it was greenlit on Steam. I don't know when it will be released. Unless I just haven't been on... I haven't checked the store for a while and it's already released. Oh well. Um, this was a great game. I recommend it to all of you. Um, because, I don't know, it's just something... It's not a linear story path. Um, unlike a lot of games, it's it just makes it a whole wide world, and I don't know. So, um, I believe this is featured in the orange box and comes with Half Life Two. So, if you ever get the chance, get the orange box. And if I'm wrong, then well, you still get Half Life Two. Goodbye.